Hi, thanks for choosing Chisen product. Today we will give you the 4D training with Chisen S3. Before we start the 4D training, let's talk a little about what is 4D ultrasound. 4D ultrasound uses the same technology as the conventional 2D ultrasound that everybody is familiar with. It allows to see the baby in three dimensions and see the movements taking place in the womb. Different from the 2D scanning, a successful 4D scanning based on three key factors. Fetal gestational age should be around 6 to 7 months. Fetal position should face outside and enough amniotic fluid. Let's get started. In order to get a good 4D image, first of all, we must have a good 2D image. Let's do it. Press the probe key to go to the probe selection screen. We get all the presets here. Choose the 4D probe, OB application, mid-pregnancy, and the default mode. Click the enter key twice, start the B mode. Take the 4D probe, find the mark here, point to the patient head side. Make sure that the feature head is on the right side of the screen. Usually, when you are in the B mode, you will get the setup plane, corona plane, and X plane. The best plane to get the good 4D image is setup plane. So you need to find the setup plane like this image. But if you are in the corona plane like this image, you need to move the probe like this to find the setup plane. If you are in the X plane like this image, you need to rotate the probe like this to get the setup plane. If you are not in the standard setup plane, just adjust your probe position slowly to get the standard one. When you get the standard setup plane, the 2D image preparation work is ready. After getting the setup plane, hold the probe, press the 4D key. The interesting box will show out. Use the enter key and the trackball to adjust the size of the interesting box and move it to the right position. The size of the interesting box should be appropriate, not too small, not too large. Move it to contain the whole feature head. Then press the left key to enter into the 4D mode. Press the freeze key, now you get the 4D image. After you get the first 4D image, you can edit the image to make it better. Rotate this knob to change the threshold value can help you to make the feature structure sharper. Use the trackball and enter key to set the bias and pulse value to change the brightness and the contrast of the feature face. If the baby is not face up to you, you can rotate the C key, D key, and the M key to adjust the direction of the image, make the baby face to you. There are some other interesting features. For example, if there is a presenter in front of the feature face, we have the volume of image function to remove it. Go to the dual mode. Rotate this key to open this function. Besides, we have the easy cut function. Press the change key to turn on the cut function. Choose the cut method as you want. Use the enter key and the trackball to cut the part which you don't need. After that, you can press the change key to go back to the previous screen. Now, you can get a good 4D image here. After you get a good 4D image, you can check out the images. Press the save key, choose the format. We have the one frame, multi frames, 4D AVI and 3D AVI. If you choose the one frame, you can save a image. If you choose the 4D AVI, you will get a cine movie. 
Wait a few seconds. Then, choose the image you want to copy. Press the Update key. To turn on the copy function, choose the export item. Enter into the copy page. Choose the removal device. The removal device again. And choose the JPG format. If you have a movie, choose the Save 2D Scene. Then press OK. Everything will be finished. OK. Hope this video can help you get a good bird image. If you still have some question, please feel free to contact